Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, DSG, welcome to yet another DSG TV. I don't know if I've ever sat with this bright of a shirt this close to the camera, but you know what? It's just gonna, it's gonna be like that today. So here's a question that has come in, and it's for folks that have created an information product, you know, packaging up and selling something, and let's just call it, let's just say it was an online course or program, and it didn't work out so well. And the question that I get all the time, and this kind of asks David is, well, David, why didn't my online course work? Or why didn't my program work? What went wrong? Can you pinpoint it? Now, of course, there's many, many, many things that could have gone wrong with this stuff. And, and the thing is, I know this one from my own experience, two from you know interviewing and studying and researching the very top mediapreneurs and their courses and their programs and speaking with them about these things. And you know, th there's a lot of different reasons that something can go not so well, but let me point out the two major ones, the two major things that are usually the solving of 99.9% .9 of the problems here about why something didn't work out. The first thing, the first reason is that the positioning of the product was wrong and specifically was not as specific as it should be. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I've seen is people come out with a program and they're going to create, you know, this, you know, 8, 10, 12 module course or or whatever a system that they're going to come out with and the audience that they're going for is way too broad. The course is not specific enough. Why? It doesn't have a specific outcome. It doesn't have a specific type of audience. You know, it's it's like a a social media course or anything like that. Because here's the thing, here's one of the secrets to what makes information products sell online, specifically online courses, the more specific they are, the more they're going to sell. The more specific they are, the more they're going to sell. So, general, broad, those type of things, they just don't work when it comes to creating an online course or, you know, any kind of information product online because it, you know, it, it specific systems are what sells. So, the number one mistake that I often see is just that the product itself was just sort of lackluster in terms of the positioning and, you know, the branding and all those things, the packaging, all that kind of stuff together. But more importantly, very, very clear as to who the target audience is for and what specifically it will do for them. You know, women, too big of a target audience. Men, too big of a target audience. You know, uh, internet people, too big of a target audience. You have to drill down to get a very specific audience for your product or service. And realize that if you're, if you're, you know, a, a mediapreneur and you've got a website and you've been creating, you know, podcasts and blogs and different things like that, you know, your product that you come out with is probably going to only appeal to a subset of your audience. It might not appeal to your entire audience, and that's okay. You know, specific again is the reason that that things sell. And you know, you want people to look at it and say, "Okay, that's totally me. That's totally me. It's not everyone else. It's totally me." So that's one thing to keep in mind is specific. The second thing to keep in mind, I think this one is, you know, extremely important, is that I don't care how long you've been at this. I don't care if you've been at it for a couple of years or you know, 10 years or, or two months or two weeks, okay? One of the other biggest problems is people come out with, let's say a course, so they come out with an information product and they don't build up any anticipation and they just say, here you go, here's a sales page or here you go, buy it right here. And the problem with that is, I don't care if you've been around and, and you've got the you know, awesome credibility, you have to have a marketing funnel for your products for them to be successful. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, a, a launch process, um, free content for people, you know, maybe a webinar, different things like that. There's many different ways that you can go when it comes to, you know, doing a launch and then ongoing sales after your launch. But what I call the, the, the method that doesn't work is the release and pray method, which is you just put it up and you pray that people are going to go to it. You say, hey, go buy this, go buy this, go buy this. And there's many reasons that doesn't work. But the main one being is that, you know, you have to build trust on that product and your teaching ability, even if, 
even if you've been around for a long time. So meaning, you know, offering some free training that people can, can access and then, hey, by the way, for those that want to go deeper, here's, a, here's the product. You know, offering a free webinar and at the end of the webinar having a pitch. You know, that's why these things work because you're proving yourself as a teacher, you're proving yourself that you know your stuff and you're kind of building that trust and credibility and offering goodwill. That's what ultimately results in sales. So not just sending everyone to a sales page and praying that they buy. Uh, that's the second biggest mistake that I see when it comes to you know creating online courses and high quality systems and information products and going out there and why some don't sell. So it, it comes down to you know basically the positioning and often being way too broad and then also not having a marketing plan and kind of funnel and system to put people through. So those are my thoughts on this. Share below your thoughts, questions, etc. When it all comes down to this stuff, I, I am so pumped about products and courses and everything like that. It's just, it's just, you know, it, it's an amazing time to be a mediapreneur right now. And, and if you haven't already, my free training and then my new course, Create Awesome Online Courses, is going to be coming out very, very soon. Check it out at therisetop.com slash courses. I've got a free video series coming soon that's going to be teaching you all about how to take what you already know and turn it into an online course and turn your online platform into revenue. So check that out, therisetop.com slash courses, and I will see you next time.